Hello and welcome to a Yoldi Battlelips Kill Team report. Been a long time since I've done Kill Team. Oh, solo report, it's just me here again because we're still on lockdown, coronavirus. Um, I don't do Kill Team because um, Jack was never too bothered about playing Kill Team, he didn't really like it. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to play by myself. Poor don't sound like that's my cat eating very loudly. Anyway, because it's been a long time since I've played, I'm, I'm keeping it really simple. Um, I'm playing sweep and clear. So there's four objectives, one, two, one on that door and one there. Victory conditions are simple. One point for every model you take out of action and three points for each one of those you hold at the end of the game. It's about 80, there are 79 points each because I couldn't quite get to 80 with um, Space Marines. Um, so I brought the this down to, to 79 as well. So Zach said, Zach the same um, points. Uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I've played, so do expect there to be a lot of mistakes. Um, I'll try and remember as much as I can, and, and I'll check the rules and things as much as I can before I film, but I will probably make mistakes. So here's what the board looks like. Now, this is a this board I'm playing on is a board from the um, Moonbase Cassius set. It's slightly too big for Kill Team. It's almost exactly the right width. It's slightly too long. About two, about two inches either side, it's too long, but... I'm, I'm not really going to play in this two inches here anyway, so I've just told the plot. I've, I've kind of measured everything from the middle backwards, so I don't think the, the two inches at the other end really matters. Um, right, I'll try. And, I'm not entirely certain of what uh, everyone's got off the top of my head. I think I'll try and remember. So, Timonids have got my leader is my Timid Warrior. He's got a Devourer, Silent Talons. My three specialists. I've got my Lictor is a combat specialist. The gene stealer there with the longer tongue, I believe, is my scout. He might be a bit, one of them is a scout, one's a veteran. I cannot remember which one's which. I'll check. He's got flesh hooks. The other one's got acid more. And I've got three. Oh, they've also both got silent talons as well as rending claws. Um, three termagants. They've just got flesh borers and no upgrades at all. That's seventy nine points. This side, space marines. I'm calling them dark angels because I don't know anything different, but. My leader is not a lieutenant, he's in fact just a intercessor sergeant. But I've used the lieutenant model because he's got a power sword and my sergeant's got a power sword. And I thought I'd like to keep it a bit more wheezy. I know his base is too big, but I don't really care. So he's got a power sword, a bot rifle. Got my sniper specialist up here. He's got a stalker bot rifle. I've then got my combat specialist down here. This looks a lot like a infiltrator. I'm actually playing it as a reaver. I don't have any Reaver models because I actually don't like them at all. But I wanted to play a Reaver, so he's my combat specialist. I've then got my comm specialist, is the sergeant there. He's not actually a sergeant, he's just a normal intercessor. Uh, so he's a comm specialist. And then my scout there is a non specialist, but he does have a sniper rifle and a camo cloak. So that's 79 points of Space Marines. A um, couple other disclaimers as well. Apart from it being a long time since I played, um, I only have the core rules here. I don't have the an new annual because basically before I could buy it, it went into lockdown. Um, I don't have the commanders or elites or arena or anything like that. So I'm playing it with the most basic rules. Um, I have looked at the FAQs just to double check stuff, but I probably will forget them and make mistakes. So please bear with me. This is my first time playing this in a while. If I have time, I'm going to play two games. Um, and hopefully I'll make less mistakes on the second one. So here we are deployed, as you can see. And the, ter the Termagants, <laughs> the Termagants are going first, and um, I'll come back after movement. Okay, come back from movement after turn one. So the Termagants, not, not surprisingly, have all moved up. They need to get in there. Um, the only one that didn't was this Termagant who readied. I actually didn't fire him at first. I'm about to do the rest of the shooting, but because he was my first ready model, I thought I'd fire him and he missed. He had six, needed sixes. Um, all of the Space Marines readied. I actually see them all there, apart from the Reaver who moved. Um, so now I'm going to do some shooting. So first of all, this guy up here, my sniper, is going to fire the Stalker Bolt Rifle at the Gene Stealer right there. He's in half range and everything, so he should be hitting on threes. That's a cock dice. Six hits. Strength four. Falls to wound. Doesn't wound. 
Right, let's do, let's move on to the sergeant there. He's got an all bolt rifle, he's in half range, that'll be rapid fire. So two shots, two hits, force to wound. Two with the team, the team has got five plus save. Makes one, fails one, that's a wound. Uh, Dean Teal's only got one wound, let me just check. In kill team, that was happening anywhere else, but yep, so let's see if I can do and link to this gene stealer. It's in the open and everything, not obscured, so I believe that's him taken out. I will check the rules, I believe that's him, him gone. Yep, that is gene stealer one dead. Boom, he's gone. Right, I've still got some other ready mods left. Let me just move my tokens. So he's now shot. Oh, I knocked this over earlier. So if anything looks like I'm not in the right place, you'll know why. That's, he's now shot. I want to have lots of terrain to make it look like a kill team kind of fight. And now I can't get to anything. So let's fire... Uh, I've got to do a ready model. Let's fire the sniper. He'll fire at... Let's find that gene stealer right there, because he'll be within half range. Um, I've got my comm specialist right next to him. So I believe that means I can do something. <laughs> Check the rules again. Yep, so he's hitting on two. He actually doesn't suffer the penalty for buying long range anyway, but I'm still going to fire that gene stealer. I think he's more of the biggest threat. Um, so I need two to hit. Hits. Four to wound, Check four. Six is a scary. <gasps> That's a mortal wound. I don't know if it's an addition. Let me check. In addition to normal damage. That's a mortal wound, definitely. Because he's saved in the other wound. No, that's two wounds. Do you have to do separately or not? It's another, another very dead gene stealer. Wow. Both gene stealers got us two specialists down. That's not a good start for Tyranids. Blamey. Right, let's fire. I've got one more ready model left, which is the... Gunner, he's a gunner there, I believe, he's a gunner. Uh, he's got an all bolt rifle. He's gonna fire at this Termagant right here. Let's see if we can minimize some of their shooting. Is he in half range? It's range 30. That's 10 inches. Yep, yeah, he's in half range, so rapid fire, and he's hitting on threes. One hit. Doesn't wound that Termagant. So that's all the ready models done. Now it's time for a Tyranid to fire. And I'll come back and I'll check the weapon profiles. Going to go with the Tyranid Warrior next first. He's going to fire at the leader over there. He's obscured. I think he's obscured. I know he's, with, he's really close to that, but I'm counting it as obscured. He's within half range, though. So it's Assault 3. Hitting on 5s, unfortunately, because it's minus 1. 2 hits, though. Strength 4. Falls to wounds. 2 wounds. It's got no minuses, though, I don't believe. Let's check Devourer. Nope, no minuses. He's got three up saves. Makes them both, he is fine. Right, the last thing left then for the space to fire is that guy there, the Reaver. I'm not sure what he's armed with, let me check. So the Reaver's up next, Reaver slash Infiltrator. But the Reaver, he's gonna fire at this Termagant with his heavy bolt pistol, he's just about in range, but he is over half range and he's obscured. It's minus two, so it's five to hit. Doesn't hit. Right, all I've got left is, we've well, got some flesh hooks from that guy as well, he's got flesh hooks. Let's fire a Termagant, let's fire this guy's Flesh Borer. So he'll fire at the leader, I suppose. He's over half range, and I'm going to say he's obscured because of that. So I'm hitting on sixes. Hits. Wounds. Doesn't say, that's a wound off that guy. He does have two wounds, so um, that's a wound off him. This guy will fire back at the Reaver. Same. Doesn't hit. Okay, that's all the shooting for them. Let me check the Lictor. Okay, so the last thing was the Gene Stealer. Oh, he did the Lictor. He was within range of the, you see there, through the, with the leader through there with his flesh hooks, but he missed. Um, so I believe that's in a turn one because there's no combat. Um, everything's shot. Yeah, because you charge in the movement phase in this. There's no kind of charge phase. So now we're on to turn two. I didn't use any command points, so both sides now will have four command points each. Um, I didn't really look at the tab. I've got my tactics lined up here, but I didn't actually look at them particularly. I may end up not using a lot of tactics apart from the odd command point reroll. Um, so what happened? Let's see if the uh, Tyranids can do some damage getting into combat. Turn two. 
Okay, turn to movement for both of them. So on Tyranid side, these three all readied. They're all they were all in range. Um, this guy wasn't in range of anyone, but I don't really want to move him up because I want to try and hang on to that objective if I can. So he's actually just retreated behind this building. He's just going to sit, hopefully, on that objective. The Lictor, however, charged through the building and got into combat with the leader. And then the Weaver did a counter charge afterwards. The leader did overwatch, um, didn't get any hits or anything. These three have all readied, so that's it. They haven't moved. Um, so we're on to shooting. The Tyranids will fire first. So I'm going to fire this guy up. That guy up there, he is obscured. Uh, he's not over half range though, thankfully, so it'll be fives to hit. Two hits, fours to wound, one wound. Saved because no minus, that's him done. So he has fired. Now it's the turn of a space marine. Let's fire Mr. Stalker Bolt Rifle. Let's fire him down. I thought someone hasn't fired yet. Fire this termagant here. One shot, he's obscured, so fours to hit, hits. Threes to wound, because strength four plus three. Wounds, Termagants have got a terrible save. That might do it, though. We check something, I think that might do it. Nope, it doesn't do it. I'd forgotten that Termagants have only got a five plus save. I wasn't sure if, the, if cover being cover helped or not, but it wouldn't make a difference even if he had a... Um, he hasn't got six plus save, it's minus two. So, does he take him out? No, he doesn't. That's a flesh wound on that termagant, though. Get my flesh wound token out. He's got a flesh wound, so he's going to be very difficult to hit anyone at the moment. Right, so he's fired. Let's put his little fire token on. I like these little. I do like these little tokens. I have to say, they do make it easier to remember things. Um, let's fire that termagant there. He's just about in range of that of the sniper. There, or do I want? Yeah, I'll fire at the sniper because he's got one wound. I am hitting on sixes though, anyway. Doesn't hit. So he's fired. I think I'll fire the sniper and I think I'll fire him back at that guy. So he's on twos because of the common specialist. Hits. Wounds on three. Sixes does a mortal wound. Wounds. No minuses on this. Doesn't save. Did you take him out? No, it's a flesh wound on that termagant. Um, I've got one termagant left, this guy, he can only shoot at that guy, this isn't going to go well, six to hit, doesn't hit. And then I've got the sergeant over there, he's going to fire at this termagant here. He's obscured, so it'll be fours, but he is within half range, so it'll be two shots, rapid fire. Uh, that doesn't hit, because it's obscured, one hit, one wound. Doesn't save, takes a three to take him out of action. That's a dead termagant. Another one gone. So he's dead. Might have to do a nerve test these guys at the end, if I remember. Um, he's already fired, so he's gone. I believe that's the end of the shooting phase. I'll check about the flesh hooks and the pistols and things. I think you can buy pistols in combat. Let me just check them back after that. So last thing, I've got two bolt pistols. Um, so my leader, bolt pistol. Hits the, the Lictor, falls to wounds. Doesn't save, he's got four wounds I believe, and they've got the heavy bolt pistol from the other guy. Hits, doesn't wound. So that's one wound off the Lictor, that's pretty good. One wound off the Lictor. We'll come back with combat, and this Lictor's gonna rip someone a new one. Okay, so Lictor up first, he's a combat specialist, so plus one attack. He's gonna do two attacks against the leader and two against the weaver. Um, so he hits on twos, just against the leader. Oh, I'm going to command point B while that one, I've got four. Two hits, that was down to three, there we go now. Two hits, strength six, threes to wound, any sixes on this, and minus four as well. A six, that's minus four, that's two wound. That one's minus four, so the leader gets no save. Uh, this one he gets a four plus save. Doesn't save. Oh, I think that might kill him anyway, because that... Oh, I should have done it separately, separately, shouldn't I? I should have done it separately. Um, because that one will do the flesh wound. Oh no, that still won't kill him. He'll have two flesh wounds on him. He'll have two flesh wounds on him. But I thought he had forgotten, forgot he's only got one. He's got two wounds. So he's definitely a flesh wound. Two flesh wounds in fact, I'll put on him in a second. Then against the Reaver, two hits. Two wounds, these are both at minus one. 
saves both of them. So the weaver is fine. Right, I'll come back with those two. Okay, up next is the reaver. He's going to hit, obviously, the um, Lictor. He hits on threes, and he's got three attacks. He's got a combat knife. He's a combat specialist. Combat specialist. So he gets an extra attack. Let me find a dice. Um, oh, ooh. I'll come back when I've got found the dice. This is last attack. One. Uh, I'm going to reroll one of those. For additional hits, that's three hits. Um, fours to wound, because they tough as four, Lictor. Two wounds. It's, it's got no minuses to this. Then we, well, none of those are going to say. That's two more. He's down to one wound. He's got his last anything now. He's just possibly dead Lictor. So now I'm going to fire uh, attack with my sergeant. He would be hit, because he's got two flesh wounds. He didn't give me hitting on fives, but Trantium of Visual means hitting on fours. He's got three attacks, and he's got a power sword. He did on fours. No hits. Well done, mate. All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> so I think that's the end, and I need to check the rules for nerve test. I don't know if the tyranny needs to take any. Yeah, so the tyranny has taken a morale test, or a shake, whatever it's called, a broken test. That's the role. My lead is obviously still alive, so they're fine. Uh, right, one to turn three. Got a lot of dead tyranids. A Lictor on one wound. Um, this could be an interesting last turn. Though. Might, yeah, the space means are probably going to do some damage now. Right, turn three. Okay, not a lot of movement particularly. Um, these three all stayed still. Those two are readied. I mean, actually this guy may as well ready as well, thinking about it, because he can see the leader there. So he's going to ready as well. Over here, those three all ready. The leader fell back. Our combat, he's, he's there. No, still obviously stood still. So shooting, ready model first. So this guy is going to fire through the gap at the leader. Could be risky. Um, hit on fives though, because he's obscured. Two hits. So the sword there is a is a six. Forced to wound. One wound. No minuses though. That's a one. I've got to use a command point to reroll that one. Six, he survived that one, so he has fired. Let's go with the Stalker Bolt Rifle up there. He can, he can only see these two, so he'll fire at that Termagant. Yes, he'll fire at Termagant. Um, he's a sniper, so I think he was one, doesn't he? Still didn't hit. Uh, I'll chat, I don't know if there'll be one or not, but he definitely didn't hit. Um, let's go weird well, be with the Termagant next. He'll fire, he'll fire the leader. Let's just see if we can do it. Come on. He hits on sixes, misses. Um, and I'll fire the sniper down there. He'll fire down, I don't think you can actually see that term again. He'll fire at the leader. He's on two, no, he's obscured. So he'll be hitting on threes. Hits, fours, wounds. I believe that is a save for the leader. He's got a four pass save, that's him done. One more termagant to fire. He'll fire through the gap of the leader as well. He's got sneeze of six. Nope. And then last of all is the guy over there. I don't think he can see this termagant either. So he'll fire at the lord, at the warrior. Not within rapid fire range, unfortunately. So he's actually hitting on fives because he's obscure and over half range. Doesn't hit. That's Oh, and last thing is that weaver's pistol on the Lictor. Can he kill the Lictor with a heavy bolt pistol? It's on threes. Hits. Wounds on fours. Wounds. Don't think that's a save for the Lictor. Let me just find the Lictor's rules. All my, these are where, where all the stuff I need is in this book. Lictor, five plus save. No, that's the last wound of the Lictor. So the least it's going to be is a flesh wound. Can you take the Lictor out of action with a heavy bolt pistol? Nope, he can't. Uh, have I done the command point reroll on this thing? No, I have not. Uh, yes, I have. I did it for something. The leader's saving throw. I use it then. So no, can't come on. But we like that. That's just a flesh wound on the Lictor. That is useful. Though. That makes him slightly less effective. Let's just push that in there. Um, I think we can go straight on to combat. Actually, thinking about it. Um, so the the Lictor will attack. Obviously, the Reaver back there. He's still got four attacks. He's a combat specialist. Now hitting on threes though. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. I'm going to have to come on and pick up one of those. Oh, oh dear. That's not good, Mr. Lictor, is it? Well, I should have that bolt pistol. That would have been three hits. So Lictor completely failed. The Reaver will fight back with three attacks. Two hits. Fours to wound. No wounds. I'm going to command point one of those as well. So they both use another command point. Wounds. Five plus save on the Lictor. Saves. Lictor's fine. So they're down a command point. They're down two command points. Let me go and do their command points on camera so you can all see I've done it. That's end of turn three. Next turn's the last turn. It's all about trying to really... Because Turbigan Tuners have got two objectives. It's going to be about trying to get another one. Or trying to kill that leader. Hmm. <laughs> and there's an objective in the open there. So one of the spacemen is going to move on to that objective. All right, we'll come back in turn four. Okay, so turn four. Um, obviously just readied, readied. The, the warrior's broken cover now. Moved out into the open, just as this guy has to take that objective. He's moved out. One, he'd get better shots in on this guy. In fact, if I move him to there, in fact, he's not even obscured. Um, those two are locked in combat. Um, those two readied. Um, yeah, that's... I don't know, obviously the game can go on again, but I'm going to treat it as it might end now. So we'll do find ready models first. Let's fire this Termagant again. He'll fire at the leader. He needs a six. Nope. Then I'm going to I'm going to fire with this guy, and I'm going to use a stratagem or a tactic. He's going to spend a command point on careful aim. He's going to hit on twos. He's going to fire at this Termagant. So he'll actually be hitting on threes because he's obscured, but he'll be hitting on threes. Still misses. He's a sniper. He gets to reroll. Hits. Wounds on three. Wounds. Minus one. I think he gets one. Let me just roll a dice. And I need to see if that saves him or not. Okay, as far as I can tell, um, unlike 40k, where those ruins would give him a plus one to his armor save, doesn't seem to do that in Kill Team. I can't find the rule anywhere, so do correct me if I'm wrong. So that six will not save that termagant. So I need... He's obscured, though. But he's only got a flesh wound. So it would, this wouldn't only be a three, it'll be a four to take him out of action. That's a dead termagant. So he is gone. Uh, I think he was on the fire first, so it's good that he forgot to fire his flesh wound. Gone, but that's uh, that's a objective no longer being held by the team. Um, so ready to model still. So this guy will fire at the leader. He needs a six. Nope, so he's gone. So let's put his shooting down. So he's, no, he's gone. Other ready models is that sniper. Now, I don't think that sniper can see him. Let's go around. Oop, around my lighting system. I don't think this sniper can see anyone. If I look where the sniper is, he can't, I don't think he can see anything. I should have moved him. Never mind, so he can't see. So, he's fired. So next up is non fire models, which actually is, oop, I've gone the wrong way around these lights, is the Reaver with his heavy bolt pistol again. So he hits on threes, hits, wounds on a four, doesn't wound. Come on point, I haven't one yet. Wounds, saves, he's got a five plus save, that's a save from Lictor. I wanted Lictor to survive that because I wanted to hit in combat. <laughs> right, leader, he's gonna fire three shots at the enemy leader. He's not obscured now, I don't think. Fours, two hits, fours, Oh, no wounds. If I re-rolled anything for that. No, I haven't done anything for the Tim. I haven't done a re-roll yet. Ah, oh, still no wounds. Uh, and the last one then is this guy who moved. Two shots into the lead, that's all he can see. One hit. Uh, doesn't wound, so nothing there. Um, and they've already used a command point. So... Tim is down to five command points. These guys used one for careful aim and they used another one to down to three command points. That is shooting done. Tim is will choose the first attacking model. So he'll attack the Reaver. Four attacks still. Hitting on threes now rather than twos because he's got a flesh wound. That's better. Three attacks. I might even... Yeah, I've got loads of command points. Let's so use that. Four hits. So he's down to four command points. 
Three is to wound, six is a minus four. Three wounds at minus one. Four plus save. It's one, so he's still got one wound left, so he's okay. Let's put a dice on him before I forget. He's had one wound, but he's gonna attack this Lictor back now. Three attacks, hitting on threes. They've not used command point yet, so he's one of theirs, they've got three left. Hits, fours to wound. One wound, five plus save on the Lictor. Doesn't save. Three and Lictor's dead. <gasps> Dead Lictor, that could be a quite a big thing. That's a big old thing to have killed. Well done, Mr. Weaver. Um, they're good in kill team. <laughs> I don't like them in 40k, but that's a dead Lictor. Um, I need to come back in a second to see whether the game ends. Okay, so first of all, I need to see if the tyrannies break. They didn't. That is his saving throw. So on a 3+, plus, the game continues. It doesn't. That is game over. Now, I can be pretty sure the space meter won. <laughs> they're holding two objectives with six points. They've killed five models at 11. Two have killed no one. One objective, so they've got three. So it's a victory for the Adeptus Astartes. That is well done to my Dark Angels. Uh, my Pride of Caliban kill team did well there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this game exactly the same again um, and have another go and see if it comes out different. Um, interesting, the two deities dying in turn one was quite horrific. Um, so we'll, we'll um, yeah, I might try and do something differently with them so they don't die straight away. They might swap, swap ends maybe because there's, there's more cover on that side, so I'll swap ends. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I, seemed, I probably got lots of rules wrong, but it was actually really, I did enjoy playing. It's quick, it's nice, and um, yeah, it was fun to play. I think Man of the Match is probably that Reaver. Taking out a Lictor by himself is quite impressive. Leader did well, he survived, which is pretty impressive. That guy was good. So yeah, the, the, the space meter did well. That's, that's a tough, tough old kill team, that. Um, you had to come in right then, didn't you, Tilly? Where have you gone? What was that noise for, eh? 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 I want food, do you? Okay. Um, right. Yep. Uh, another thing, I'm not going to change in the kill teams because I'm, I'm just getting used to what they do now. Um, so I'll that one there and I'm gonna play another game in a second which I will also record uh, and we'll see how they get on the second time so we'll leave it there uh, check out the Facebook page and the Patreon page I've now changed some of the Patreon so there are now rewards for, for patrons and um, thanks lots so check that out it helps buy things like this as well they bought these craters which I finally painted and they bought some of this kill team stuff actually I bought this rule book so I won't be playing kill team without it and token to things that I've got all as well so yeah thanks a lot for watching and See you next time. Okay, so just a quick note at the end of that. Um, I didn't actually manage to play a second game. Um, I'm looking after my children tonight. One of them uh, woke up and I had to go look after her. And she took a while to get back to sleep. So um, I didn't play a second game, unfortunately. But I will use these again, I think, in another Kill Team mission. I might try one of the other missions next time. Because um, that was fun. I enjoyed that. So I think I will play some more Kill Team. I've got some Sisters of Battle I might use in a Kill Team as well. Uh, and I've got some D-Wins I could use in the Kill Team too, so that could be quite interesting. Um, so yeah, you'll probably see a few more solo Kill Team games. They're a bit easier to set up and things than the 40k, so um, I'll definitely be doing more of them. And also I really enjoyed it, it's a quite a fun thing to do by yourself. Um, a little game of Kill Team. Okay, thanks a lot, see you next time.